Hello and welcome to Maradeo, a horror visual novel slash side scroller game developed by Sai Wombat, available in itch.io. And apparently, uh, you've been stuck in the ocean, but you've been saved by a ship crew. And I guess we'll see what that means. Uh, I guess a little content warning as well. This is a horror game, so there may be some disturbing elements. Your discretion is advised. No space. Let's just get started. Oh, a lot of ketchup on that raft. I don't know. They've been surviving on tomatoes, I guess. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. I don't know who's talking. I guess you. Sai, so this is the stowaway. More of a castaway than a stowaway. If they're on the ship, and they shouldn't be, they're a stowaway. Where's the man we rescued along with this one? He was with him downstairs. But when we hauled the both of them out of the water, the man looked pretty dead to me. Good. Good? That's a little morbid even for you, Adi. Adi? 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 I'm not glad he's dead, necessarily. I'm just glad he's not on the ship. One less liability. If you have a problem, take it up with Leo. Leo? <laughs> this is very... captain -y. You called? Speak of the devil. Good day to you, Ari. Uh, good day to you too, Ari. Ari? Ari? I don't know. Ari? Ari? How's the other one? That guy? Deader than Kelsey's nuts, poor bastard. It seems Sleeping Beauty here is the only survivor. That is, if they ever wake up. Okay, so the other person is dead. Hmm. It's funny how, like... You know, the store page did mention two castaways, you know, but like, the other one's already dead. Well, what do you think the chances are? Pretty decent. It's been a lifetime since I've diagnosed anyone with anything more than a flu, but I couldn't find anything wrong, minus the scrapes. The kid's just out cold. More importantly, do we pick up any other vessels? There's no telling if the two drifters are part of a wreck, or they just fell overboard. If anyone else ever... Or if anyone else picked up the distress signal, they could be headed full speed right for us. I've replotted our route and we should be back on track within the hour. We didn't stray into the shipping lanes. But it's strange, isn't it? If we're clear of the usual cargo routes, how did our drifters get this far in the open, the open ocean? Christ, we're closer to the Arctic Circle to the end than to any of the cruise lines. Did you pick up anything over the radio? Silence since the May Day eight hours ago. Nothing before or since. Quite the mystery. I'm sure the kid will have a fantastic story to tell once we're up. Leo, you know the danger of letting anyone... Of course, of course. But danger's the whole job. And there's no choice to be made. You can't just toss a shipwreck with them overboard. The sea would have her revenge for sure. Don't talk about superstition to me. But really, what, op what other option do we have here? You want to call this in to the Coast Guard or something? No, but... I'll figure out something. But for now, don't go smothering them in their sleep. But I need to get to the bridge. Keep an eye on Sleeping Beauty for me, alright? I have a live broadcast in half an hour. Don't disturb me. A live broadcast? She's a streamer? Um, uh, <laughs> well, poor thing. Hang in there, kid. So I like the sprites. You know, little portraits. People go anime style, but I like it. You're awake. Um, well, hello. You're aboard the Revolution. We found you floating unconscious a few hours ago. Everything will be alright. I'm Cynthia. You can call me Sai if you want. Oh, okay. So it's, it's short for Cynthia. C? Or is it C? Is it Sai or C? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, because if it's short for Cynthia, I'm assuming it's C, which is confusing because it, it's it's a homonym to C, as in looking at something, but also the C, as in the ocean. <laughs> it's, it's very confusing. Um, call me C, I guess. C? I'm assuming C. It makes sense. Because, you know, it's Cynthia. C? Cyn C? Not Scythia? No, it's not Scythia. Cynthia. 
Do you have a name there, friend? Dot, dot, dot. Don't worry, you're safe here now. No matter what happened out there. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, well, I imagine you've been through a hell of a time. You don't have to talk until you're ready. Alright, that was this guy. See, listen up, see. See, we have company on the way. See, bridge now. Leo needs you upstairs. Right away. Wait, they're awake. Well, hey, nice to meet you, kiddo. What brings you to our corner of the seven seas? Sean, shut up. See, bridge. I, I'm assuming. Oh, man. Wait, no way I'm leaving you alone down here. Uh, no way I'm leaving you alone down here. Follow me and keep your mouth shut. I mean, we've been doing a good job so far. Leo, what's, this, uh, what's the situation? We picked up two other ships on radar. Not sure about their bearing, but if they aren't headed our way, then I'm the Queen of Sheba. Sheba? Sheba? Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Only about 10 minutes before they'll have visual confirmation. And no matter what, we can't let them have visual. Airy, anything over there? We've had no direct communications. And... Uh, I doubt a cargo ship would move that fast. It could be a navy ship. American. On our tail? No, probably they're following the same May Day that brought us out here. Alright. Then this is what we're gonna do. Sean, cut power to everything but the engines. I want no acoustic profile for them to pick up. Got it? Done, done, done. Can we stick to manual navigation? I'll find a course that should keep our distance. And Airy, go downstairs and man the radio. They'll see us on radar for sure. We have the radio profile of a floating freight train, so they're gonna pick us up eventually. When they try to make contact. Yeah, yes. Then I'm Brit Marie Funk. <laughs> Brit, Mar Brit Mar Marie Funk. A communications officer of the Swedish cruise lines If we made a happy detour out of our lane to spare the passengers some rough seas. I'll handle it. And you. Uh, wait. Since when you were awake? When were you awake? Or since when were you? Anyway. It wasn't more than an hour ago, but they might be deaf or mute. It doesn't matter, but they haven't said a word. Our, our, our hero, everybody. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, uh, don't sweat it, kid. Let me guess. You're a stowaway? You're an illegal. Uh, I don't care who you are and where you came from. For now, sit tight. Once Sean gets his ass off, or once gets his ass off, no, gets off his ass and shuts off the power, things are gonna get a little interesting up here. All right, Leo, twenty-three degree turn starboard for power. Roger, no one's catching us today. Let's keep it steady. They're moving under twenty-five knots. If they only come out as far as we're picked up, uh, uh, as far as where we picked up Mayday signal. It'll only be an hour until we're out of radar range. You want to tune in on the radio chatter from downstairs? And listen to Ari Tri's Swedish accent. I'll pass, thanks. I'm telling you you said that. Just concentrate on the turn. At this speed, on a big ship like this. All under control. Hey kid, weren't you going to sit down? And hold on tight. It's hard to have a chase when you're a 200 meter cargo ship, but hey... Seems this the day, or seems like the day to try, right? Ready? Ready. Okay. Kind of like mysterious why these people are pretending to be what they're not. You know, seems like they're pirates maybe, I don't know. Aha, home free, can't catch a revolution. Not too bad, eh? The speed of Hermes, the stealth of Hecate, or Hecate? Hecate? And the blessings of Poseidon. The only casualty was my dignity. I'm not doing accents again. It'll be radio silence. We've had closer calls. And of course we should thank our good luck charm. This kid that says nothing and creepily stares at you. A person can't be a good luck charm. Then our little friend here is at a minimum a good omen. You mean a bad omen. If we hadn't stopped to pick them up, we wouldn't have wound up a hair's breath away from discovery. Either way, it's 
been too long since all of us were even awake at the same time. Let's take the opportunity to share a meal. That's it! A welcoming party for our guests. Let's drink under the stars and sing. Sing! I'll bring my guitar. Any objections? Yes, objection! Take that! No. As long as our guest is only a guest until port, and they stay in their quarters. Light it up a bit. Uh, light it up a bit, Ari. We'll meet up in the usual spot in an hour. Until then, see, can you handle the instruments? I need to pay a visit to the cargo fridge in Bay 12. I'll be needed on the broadcast, but if you want to share a meal, I'll be there. I might, uh, might even cook something. Then I'll give our guests a tour, and we'll find you a proper cabin. It's been ages since any of us have seen another soul aboard here, so that makes you the guest of honor. Yes, welcome aboard the Revolution. Yeah. Silent protagonist says nothing. Well, what do you think? Do you like the interior design? It's mostly my project, you know. Have you ever heard of the SS Andrea Doria? Hmm? Oh, we have a question mark this time. Really? It's like the second most famous shipwreck of all time. But you have to have heard of the Titanic, right? They're both ocean liners straight out of another world. Ships were luxury back then. If you were a rich dude, you had a stateroom on one of these babies. It was prestige, status. And these boats were fab, decked out, art deco, romantic, not like those ugly yachts. <laughs> fab, decked out, art deco, romantic. Uh, I don't know what are these words. Uh, but the Andrea Doria, the Titanic, and one day the Revolution too, will be resting on the bottom of the ocean. And when a ship is on the ocean floor, its crew, that's when their souls come back to join the living. I figure... If I were a dude from 1956 who died on a posh ocean liner, I'd come haunt some place that looked like my old digs, right? It'll feel like home. So I want the revolution to feel as homely as possible to all those 50s ghosts out there. John is... John is... <laughs> is a positive guy. Uh, don't give me that look, kiddo. When it's me going down the ship, I'll come back and join some other crews or ghost engineer. I'll be helpful. I'll make a pretty cool ghost, I think. I think I feel them. Lost souls. Think they feel welcome here? If you train your third eye, they wanted these halls too. Da -da -da. Ah well, who cares about that? Did I introduce myself? Probably not. But the name's Sean. I'm the heart and soul of the revolution. Even if no one else would admit it. Now what do they call you, kiddo? Well, I can't answer that. Uh, kid's a ghost? Well, I don't know. I was just assuming that, I guess? Got it. Although, awkward silence is a bit long for a name. Just calling you silence would be pretty cool, though, yeah? Sounds good, silence. <laughs> Alright, now we're now we're being called silence. Anyway, here's the radio room. Wanna go visit Ari? And that, I believe, is the chief takeaway from the events of the past three years. Not all revolutions must be secular. Not all left-wing movements must be pure. Class must unite us. All other divisions must fail. Revolution out. Hey, hey, Ari. Me and Science were touring, uh, touring the place. Figured we dropped in. You and who? Silence, the kid. That's her name. That's not anyone's name, Michonne. Stop clowning around and get out of here. You're not scheduled to progress until 2. Uh, come on, Ari. I'd have more listeners if you gave me a time slot that was in the middle of the night for once. No, you wouldn't. No one tunes into Revolution Radio to hear your guitar interpretations or... Schizophrenic rambling. <laughs> Schizophrenic rambling. Hey, don't be rude. Your show's pretty boring too, you know. Don't kid my- I don't kid myself about it. People tune into Revolution Radio for commercial-free top 40 EDM, not my commentary. What? Pirate Radio is dead. Maybe some kids out there will stick around and listen to what I have to say about socialist movements. I'd be lucky if that was one in a hundred of overall listeners, though. Okay. So I, I guess we're in a very modern time. If they if they, if they if they're mentioning EDM, that's very modern. So I don't know. I just assume because because the kid, you know, the kid looks like they're wearing like old-fashioned uh, clothing. So I don't know. Hey, if we if I only connected the souls of one percent of my audience, I'd be stoked. One percent of your listenership would round down to zero. Hey, don't trash don't trash talk me in front of the silence. Oh, I forgot you were there. I'm Mary. No last name. You can call her Comrade Ari. Okay. She's our cook and deck officer, too. She runs Revolution Radio out on the onboard station. Oh, and she's a veteran. 
I'm pretty sure she's been sailing since the original Andrea Dor Doria. The, An the Andrea Doria wrecked in the 50s. And anyone who adopted a nom de guerre with comrade in it got killed by the CIA in the 70s. Stop making shit up, Sean, and don't come back down here until it's your broadcast slot. Broadcast slot. Love you too, Ari. And to you too, kid. The lousy, this lousy world of ours isn't any place for children. And this boat even less so. My sincerest wish that you... And my sincerest wish is that you get out of here as soon as possible and that we never see each other again. Hey, C! C! Sean, I thought you'd be asleep. Oh no, I had some coffee and some other stuff. What do you mean other stuff? I figured I'd give our kids a tour. Not a bad idea. They still haven't said anything. Silence! Kiddos earn the name. I wonder. You must have seen something more terrible than any of us could imagine. You think the whole mute thing is a psych medical syndrome? I have a few crystals in the cabin. I'll be up for testing out their healing powers or all silence here and <laughs> use the magical he crystal? What? No crystal, Sean. Maybe it's a chakra thing? You don't have some tea, too. No crystals and no herbal tea. Especially no herbal tea with psychoactive ingredients. I can deal with you tripping around the deck in the early morning, but if I catch wind of you giving anything remotely sketchy to our guests here... I mean... You know, it seems like the kid wants to do drugs, too. No. Uh, then I'll throw you over overboard myself, Sean. Got it? Roger, 10 for You sound more like Harry every day, see? Huh, Harry wouldn't give me a warning. Uh, I almost forgot. I was giving science the tour. Welcome to the Bridge of the Revolution. This is the natural habitat of both C the Sensitive and Leo the Loud. I'll knock it off. Leo's been awake 24 hours, and if he hears you calling him that... Or if he hears you calling him, um... That he'll hand you over to Harry, so... Oh, weird sense. I don't know. Uh, Leo's been awake 24 hours, and if he hears you calling him, then he'll hand you over to Aries so we can have some meat in her dinner for once. And C is modest, but she's the brains of the outfit. Without C, I don't think we'd be able to cover more than a mile before hitting an iceberg. We're in the mid-Atlantic in the middle of summer. The only iceberg here is the one between your ears. And Leo's the glue that binds us valiant crewmen together. I mean, he's asleep and doesn't actually have any skills. Besides the skill of paying us our salary, you mean? Well put, well put. <laughs> okay. Leo's the manager. Hey, you. Sean might try pretty hard to play the ship idiot, but he's got his talents. Just don't rely on him in a pinch. Slander, come on, science, this is my cue. Time to leave. And this, welcome to Chateau de Sean. Chateau? Chateau de Sean. I don't give you that face. I don't really live here. This is the engine room, the revolution. From right to left here, we have Inky, Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde. Inky's the worst of them. I need to lubricate them every day, but whenever we have propulsion pro uh, troubles, I always come to Inky first. You ever done the piston reconditioning silence? How about a refit on the high seas? That's what I thought. And even so, you'll probably be better at it than Psy or, or C or Ari or even Leo. To be a good engineer, you need to know your engine on a spiritual level. Are your chakras in sync silence <laughs> okay? Weird engineer. That, like, is a spiritual engineer. Reminds me of uh, Warhammer 40k, actually. Isn't there like tech priests or something? That like speak to the spirits of the machines? Something like that. Uh, are you extension. Uh, are your extension energy levels in tune with the aura of the entities around you? Then you'll never be an engineer. Sorry to say. You either got the gift for engineering or you don't. Blessing and curse and all that. Inky looks like he's behaving tonight. Even though I need to make repairs on Blinking in a couple days, it's a good diesel electric setup we've got, so even removing a 5 knots to evade the detection, then we can keep full power on. Oh, never mind, I don't want to bore you. Besides, it should be about time for the victory feast anyway, right? Let's head up to the main deck. Not bad, Ari, almost edible. Oh, quiet down. Nothing like a celebratory stew. I suppose it is an improvement over yesterday's stew and the stew before that. I've been the cook for the gorillas in Colombia, pirates on the Red Sea, and revolutionaries in L Libya, and none of them have been as picky as the crew of this ship. Whiners, all of you. Feel free to have a drink, everyone. I'll take night duty on the bridge. Generous tonight, AC. Eh, I doubt I'll be sleeping anyway, really. And about our passenger here. I've made my decision. 
We can't afford delaying the schedule by turning around now. If you want to be in the green for this month, we can drop off the kid when we're at port. So, for the next six days, you're a guest on the revolution. Welcome, kid. Here, here. And if you're going to be hanging around, then a couple of ground rules. First, stick to your cabin. Second, keep your nose out of the cargo. Third, you were never here. Leo, they have a right to know what's going on. If we're doing this properly, we would have turned the kid over to the Coast Guard ships. This is like we're keeping him hostage. Uh, fair point. And you seem like my kind of kid. Kid. So, to tell you the truth... Leo, watch yourself. The Revolution is a stolen vessel. Uh, we operate with no licenses, flags, or laws. We're a free ship. Free flow of, inform of information. Free flow of goods. Free flow of people. Revolution Radio is the heart of it. <laughs> I'd say tax, ev uh, tax evasion or in and or smuggling is the heart of it. That's what pays the bills, but the point is you're in on the secret now, kid. A toast to the newest member of the crew. The kid. The mysterious silence. Shall drink to that. Silence is a good thing. And I hadn't meant to keep it from you, but the man you were floating with. I'm not sure who he was to you, but we lost him. I'm sorry. Rest in peace. Well, enough potting around. I brought my guitar, so how about some tunes? You're two or three hundred years late for shanty, Sean. Ah, oh, then you'd be right at home, Harry. Come on, sing along. All right. But what man of her crew alive? What put to sea of 75? Okay, is that supposed to be the song? I don't know. Bravo. It's getting late. What do you say, one more? By all means. <laughs> I know just the one. Join the chorus. I'm sure we all know the words. Okay. So, old sailors keep your secrets. Hid inside your treasure chest. Old sailors keep your secrets. Hid inside your treasure chest. If the ocean ever finds the hole that's hidden in your chest, you'll return it to the sea. Well, I find a wayward soul as they were drifting far away. Well, I found a wayward sir as they were drifting far away. Well, obviously I can't sing this. I don't know the melody. But, uh, Lord help me save their soul before they go too far astray and surrender to the sea. Let me tell you what I know. I can fit it all the Let me tell you what I know. Now, then, to save me so, then I shall tell thee all I know. I return it to the sea. His life, my life, and his first run, but he trusts me his life. You know, time to think about it. In the afterlife, help him to me. You know, it's it, like Sean, you know, says that you should know this, I think, or something. Is this supposed to be like a popular song? I don't know. I don't know music. Never play that on my board. <laughs> Never play that on board my ship ever again. Return to the sea. You hear me, Sean? Never play that on my ship again. Oh, I thought we were all equals. Who died made you, Cam? Dangerous words, Sean. Why don't you take a cue from our mute guests and sew your lips shut? Or shall I do it for you? I'm going back to the bridge. This is over. This is what is... It's brought down the mood of that song. I don't know what that song meant. It's very, it just offended everybody, I guess. It'll be a long night. Now, what is it? Was that out? Was I out that out, dude? Yeah, come on, I'll show you to the, I'll show you to your cabin. All right. And here, here's the side-scrolling elements. You know, we can walk around a little bit, basically. It's very RPG Maker, though. As far as I know, it's made in Unity, so it's kind of weird. Like, I don't know. There's RPG Maker graphics in Unity somehow, I think. Alright. I mean, didn't they say not to, like, leave our... You know, we shouldn't leave our cabin. We should just go to, go to sleep. Take a quick nap. Nope. Okay, I guess. No, we're going. Then never mind. We're just gonna break the rules real quick. You know, it's funny how the other person, apparently... We were stuck on a raft with them. But apparently they're dead? 
No one, like, they, they, that character just died so early. I don't know what significance they had. Hmm. Interesting paintings. Anyone anyway, can go here? Hmm. I don't know where I am. <laughs> this is like, kind like, of confusing. I think this is where I was. How much here? This just goes back over this way. There, I go there. More paintings. But yeah, apparently the ship has been stolen. So, I mean, I guess they're not literally pirates, but. Kind of sort of like pirates, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's locked. It's a locked symbol, I guess. Can't go in there. What's this? Uh, Merce Frenensborg Manifest. Luper Nelson, shipmaster. Leonardo Julius uh, Flea, chief officer. I guess that's Leo, actually. Cynthia Pelkey, tech officer. John Hughes, chief engineer. Ari Ari, no, no last name, second engineer. Irina Stalev, passenger. Georgie Stalev, passenger. Hmm, wait. Okay. Luper Nielsen. Well, we didn't see a Cooper, so I, I'm assuming they're not... I mean, I guess they're dead. I don't know. I'm assuming they're dead or something. It's Leo, Cynthia, Sean, and Ari. Right. So they were part of the original manifest, but all these other people are not here. I'm assuming they already been murdered or <laughs> kicked out or something. Yeah, like a mutiny. Or something. Uh, uh, ooh, keys. Ta-da! You got keys. I can now open the locked door, I guess. I'm assuming. Um, I also want to explore upstairs, though. Wasn't there, like, a thing upstairs? I can open that. I don't want to do that yet. I feel like there, there's a way to go upstairs. I'm going to explore that first, if possible. Can I run? I can hold a ship. That doesn't seem like it. Uh, this doesn't matter. He's good. It was back over here, right? Oh, no, not here. Here? Yeah. I go up. Anyone on the ship? these two. So just ignore Sean. He's not the problem. The problem is the dead guy. I don't see how. He didn't die naturally. I could have told you that. No, I, I mean he didn't drown. He was stabbed to death or something similar. That we found him in the water is irrelevant. He has a bunch of lacerations on his torso and the cause of death is 100% blood loss. It could have been the kid, not in a million years. I think it's a more of a question of what did it than who, but either way, something really, really bad happened out there. Maybe someone's after the kid. Maybe kids ca caught up in something. Point is, we might be in for a rough time. Especially if Sean has decided that this is a sign from Mary. Oh, come on, see, I was clear. Don't bring that, don't bring that up again. I think you might be paranoid. No, I know what I'm talking about. There are no sins at sea unless you confess them. I wish it were that simple. Kid, how long have you been there? Having trouble sleeping? I found stargazing helps, even from the porthole, but you can do that from your cabin, right? Lock, lock their door this time or something. I know. Aha, but I can still leave anyway. 
It's like, lock our door? Turns out, they didn't do that at all, actually. I... Can I go again? Nah, no one's here this time, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, that's it. Ah, okay, that's a good thing I checked that. I'm assuming that's an optional scene. May I use my, use my key? I don't know. I'm assuming if you go there early, it's the same thing. Because that doesn't make progress. That's just a side scene. Alright, let's go back here and actually use the actual keys. Go in the locked room and see what happens. I don't know. Oh, more people. Harry, you're locking up for the night? You're not going to be broadcasting if that's what you're asking. But I'm scheduled, aren't I? Are you still upset, Harry? I didn't get under your skin, did I? No. I don't believe any of that nonsense about the song, that legend. But you know how Leo is. If you're doing this to intentionally annoy him, I have nothing to say to you. Oh, come on. You and I go way back. Don't hold a grudge. It doesn't matter what I think or not. Fact is, someone's on our wavelength. Even if we transmit, no one will pick up our signal. Oh, that's rude of them. Signal intrusion. Seems the... Uh, it seems... Uh, it seems only to be heavy noise in our frequency right now. I'm not sure if someone's trying to shut us down, or it's the weather, or something else. Oh, the other channels are noisy too. Oh, I, I think I think I know why. Not another word. Uh, okay. Where'd they head off to? You know, they disappear, I can't find them. They're gone. Oh, okay. They're over here, but I don't have the keys for that. I assume that's the radio room. Oh yeah, so far it is, it is pretty uh, cool atmosphere. I like the flickering lights and everything. Mm -hmm. like the lighting is pretty cool. Anyway, down here. It is the server room, maybe? Or maybe maybe this is the broadcasting room? I'm not sure. Maybe not. I don't know, there's computers here. Do you get internet, you know, out in the sea? Probably not. Fulfill thine duty. Or thine soul shall be forfeit. Oh. Hey, what's up, guy? Hey, hey, well, oh, okay. Digital monster demon. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye. Bye. I'm leaving. I'm going, I'm going here now. Okay. Ah, oh, never mind. Return to the sea. Alright, run away from the digital demon. Run away. Get away from that. I'm leaving now. I'm going back to my room. None of this ever happened. I'm leaving. Mm, go over here. Mm, again, I don't know which way to go exactly. What would, like, stop a demon? Maybe you just go outside? What if I just went outside? Help! You guys still here? Help! Help! Someone's chasing me, help! <laughs> What's up, Silence? You're looking a little pale. Oh, don't worry. I've got it all figured out now. I was wondering when someone like you would show up, because I've been waiting so long. Not a whole lot of fun always looking over your shoulder, now is it, Silence? We'll all be ghosts in the end anyway. It's like... If fate isn't inevitable, 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 then what's the point of dragging it out? And Leo can deny it as much as he wants, but it can only be fate meeting you out here. But hey, the mystery is finally solved. I know what I need to do now. See ya. Huh? What? Cool. Great. What? Anyway. Oh, it's you, kid. Everything alright? No nightmares? Uh... <laughs> I figure as much. There's something about the open sea. It makes those old memories come back. See, have you seen Sean? Not since last night. 
He was supposed to relieve me on engine duty on an hour ago. I thought he drank too much last night and overslept, but his cabin is empty. I need to get back downstairs. Go we'll find whatever, wherever that idiot passed out, slap him around a bit, and send him to the engine room. As fast as possible. Will you give me a hand, kid? You don't know anything about, about this, do you? Well, never mind, let's get going. Well, let's get looking. And the kid says nothing. Where could he be? No idea. Totally not. You know. In the bottom of the ocean as a corpse. Uh, beautiful morning. Let's see, any sign of Sean? The kid and I have been looking but no luck. <sighs> we were on the razor's edge trying to run the ship with a crew of just us four to begin with. But if Sean went and did something stupid, we're hosed. Even if we were to turn around now, we only get back to shore a day earlier. A day early and bankrupt. Then let's hope we find him. He may not want to be found. You think he's done what exactly? Lord only knows, but after last night, if you find him, be careful, okay? You better damn well find him. Here you two are. Get to the radio room. Radio? Revolution radio is pointless at the best of times. You want us to... Something is broadcasting on a usual frequency. It started last night, but this morning it's more clear. I think it's meant for us. What is it? You wouldn't believe me if I said it. Just come with me. Listen. Retribution is at hand. Thine souls art forfeit. For the murder of Cooper Nielsen. Maradeo shall return. Shall return thee unto the sea. Retribution is at hand. And it repeats. Lord God Almighty, Lord guard us, Lord give me strength. This can only mean one thing. Don't get carried away. It hurt us. It hurt us. One of you spoke. Which one of you? I told all of you to never mention Meredeo, that song or that act ever again. But now it hurt us. We're dead men sailing. Don't be like this, Leo. Marudeo isn't real. Sailors have believed in thousands of curses and legends, but not a single one of them has turned out true. What century do you sail in, man? What other explanation could there be? It would be mighty difficult to over overpower our own signal without a real deal broadcasting tower like ours. I would guess someone here has hijacked our equipment and is playing this on repeat. In other words, Sean sold us out and is trying to scare us. So does out to whom? It's a prank, isn't it? It would be like him. I've known that erstwhile idiot since he was young as a kid here, and this is in Sean's nature. It's malicious. But this means someone, one of us three or Sean, is broadcasting out that name. Cooper Nielsen. Don't say it. You keep rational. The murder of Cooper Nielsen. But the only ones who know that secret. The three of us and Sean. And the kid, now that you've blabbed it. Don't. You, you can't say these things out loud. That's the whole point. The sea must keep its secrets. You're a coward at the feet of superstition, Leo. Keep rational. One of us, or somehow the missing Sean, hijacked our broadcast equipment. Their goal, in the short term, is to scare us with this business about the ex-captain. If they plan on blackmail, then we'll find out shortly. That's the rational explanation. As for which of us is the traitor... I'll just say I doubt it, Sean. Hmm. Uh, you could say that there is a imposter among us. Anyway. Okay. Well, this is under control then. Whoever is sabotaging our radio equipment is human. For now, I don't care who it is. Harry, catch and sleep while you can. I'll cover the bridge. See, check the engines. We'll pull through this. 
And you... You just sail the way. Uh, I have no idea how to repair this. We had to put to poor to fix this. Leo will be furious. I'm sorry about this, kid. Leo's temper is something else whenever Cooper comes up. Leo is a coward about that. Or maybe we all are. I probably shouldn't be talking to you about this, but I can't do it Leo's way. Just denying anything ever happened and threatening anyone who steps on his toes. I wonder, with Sean missing, would Leo have... Well, once you're ashore, you'll figure out the truth soon enough. I don't think it's right to keep this hidden any longer, but Cooper was the old captain. Back when we were on the Merce Fredensborg, not the Revolution. Merce Fredensborg, I mean yeah, we saw the manifest, and that's the old ship's name I guess. Someone murdered him on the bridge here, on the ship. He wasn't a good man, and his death opened a new road to everyone aboard, but to go like that, his soul can't be happy. And since that night, neither can mine. Sean always said he sensed ghosts, but I never have. The dead are just gone. That's why death is scary. Well, who am I to lecture you? You've been closer to death than any of us. Ellipses. The main character stares blankly at everybody. It's not looking great. We'll hold our course. Sorry if I'm late. Leo, I can take over now. There might not be a chance to rest. Check this out. What's down the radar? In all my years, I've never seen anything like it before. Lord God Almighty. Lord guard me. Lord give me strength. <laughs> He's very religious. It must be a storm. Because it sure isn't a ship. Don't let it get to your head. If that's a storm, its intensity must be huge to appear like that on radar. And appearing out of nothing. Could this be related to the broadcast about Cooper? Not that name. There's no power in a name, but yes. See, shut up about that around the kid. It doesn't matter. The, the kid knows who he is. Was. You told them. Exactly how much. Nothing, but... That captain was murdered. That the captain was murdered is being broadcast at full strength on every frequency right now. There's no use in trying to hide it. What? Damn it. Never mind. We need to focus on this storm. Or whatever it is. Hmm. Alright. Well, anyway. Do -do 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 -do. I'll go back down there. Uh, we're going to this door, I guess? I have this door before. Let's go in here. It's very dark. Hmm. What's this? It's another key. Wow. Well, nothing else, I guess. I'm assuming you have to find uh, another door to use this key on. Anyway, I guess everything is getting a little tense <laughs> ever since Sean... Just threw himself overboard, I'm assuming? I, I think that was the implication. He was like, yes, I know what to do now. And then he just jumps into the ocean. And then drowns, I'm assuming. I don't know. Because he's like... He's like high on drugs, you know, all the time. And he's like very spiritual. So he's like, ah, yes. The voices in my head tell me to like... Sacrifice myself to the ocean. Okay. I don't know. I'm assuming that's what happened. And the kid is like, hmm, yes. Good. All according to plan. All according to all according to Kekaku. Alright. Well, I mean, the only locked door that I saw before, it would be the room all the way to the left, right? That's the only one I saw. I can go back here, but I don't know if there's anything to here. Oh, I mean, there is. Hey, what's up? That you, kid. I'm surprised. I expected Leo, ready to kill me in a fit of paranoid rage, but... Or maybe C, to drive into my back the same knife that she drove into Cooper's. <laughs> oh, she, she did the final blow or something? What? Surprise. Of course, of course those two were in on it. Leo is like Cooper. He could be running a laundromat or a pirate ship, and he'd be happy as long as he was in charge. And C would follow him straight into hell. Didn't look like the first throw she cut with that old blade either. Hardly matters now, does it? We're a crew of three and a mute child versus something that should exist. And even if you wanted to radio for help, it's all out of order. Strange luck you seem to have, kid. 
be washed up after one shipwreck ran right into another. Huh. To me, I suppose I could be happy with death at sea. When you're dead, you're dead, but damn, there isn't so much more in this world than he's doing. Seems I'm at the end of my clock whether I like it or not. You, though, try to live, if you can. Don't let either one of those lunatics running around deck to get you first. <laughs> Alright, whatever you say. Auntie. You know, Leo's gone crazy. She seemed nice. But I guess she's loyal to Leo, I guess. So if he goes crazy, she's gonna go crazy and we're gonna be we're gonna have a stab of on. Anyway, over here. Anything in here? Down there. Okay, only one way to go. Over here. Alright. Is this a new area of the ship, maybe? Go left? Three apples? <laughs> That's symbolic of anything? I don't know. Just random pictures. Uh, okay, well, only one way to go, it would be to the left. Go, little child, go! Hmm. Okay. Um, well, let's go over here first, maybe. Uh, anything around here? It's a big ship. I guess it was a cruise ship? Seemed like it. Some kind of cruise or like... Fly ship? I don't know. Merchant ship? Go up as well. well. A lot of ways to go. Hold on, this seems like a whole branch. So I actually want to go back. Backtracking. Wish I had a map. But I also wanted to explore over here. Is anything over here? Ah, okay. There's Leo. Kid, don't star me like that. Listen, can you go hang out with C or something, someone for a bit? I've only got about an hour to catch him sh shut eye before that big black and green radar blob is going to be right on top of us. Well, I, I guess you can hang around. I don't dislike you. You remind me of me, kind of. Hard to say why exactly, sort of a stoic look. Like I could transform into a giant squid right now, you wouldn't flinch. <laughs> you don't say. And besides... Maybe you're safer in here with me than out there. Ares never liked me, but since Sean vanished, she's been strange. Look, it's not like CNR or even Sean could operate the radio equipment. That weird signal is either Ari or something unnatural. I think Ares convinced that a human set it up because she's the human that set it up. After all, she's the revolutionary. She's the reason Cooper is dead. Even though C was the one of the knife, it was her plan. Capturing a cargo liner from some multinational and repurposing it into a pirate radio station then calling the thing the revolution. That's the sort of harebrained scheme only Harry could come up with. And see, well, when she stares up into the stars, I wonder how many eyes are gazing back at her. Uh, they say the souls of the dead wash from the heavens. No, that can't be right. <laughs> Good old C, my second in command. This is all pranked by Sean. <laughs> well, I went and crossed me brother. Went and crossed me brother. And cross my brother. <laughs> oh, thanks, kid. Talking to you has got me all cheered up. You got a good ear. Okay, I think Leo's gone crazy. He's like, you know, everyone's blaming each other, I guess. And everything's shaking, by the way. Hmm. Um, okay, okay, this just goes back to, I think, the other way, right? Yeah, this is where we came from before, and this just goes back over here. Yep. I'm assuming. Go up. Hey, Z, what's up? Oh, it's you. You're here just in time. The storm's arrived. Okay. There's not much hope, is there? Sean was the only real engineer. There's been some damage already, and with a crew this small, but I don't think that's really a storm out there. Maybe Ari's, uh, maybe Ari's right. I keep, Ari or Ari. I keep like going back and forth. Maybe Ari's right, or Leo's lying. But I think Sean somehow knew that Maridea was on the way. He knew the legend best. It's almost a funny story. A sea monster without the ability to touch anything above the surface of the sea. It's a monster that's supposed to seek out and punish sinners. Mutiners, mostly. An avenging monster. I think Leo believes that as long as he never admits to the deed, the beast can't touch him. Ari doesn't believe it exists. I didn't it before, but now, let me tell you a story. 
four crewmen aboard a cargo ship, the Maersk Fredensborg. Their captain was a vicious man who ran half a dozen illegal business under the table. Of those crewmen, one he paid off, one believed in the cause, one he offered haven from those that were after her, and the last one never had any more to begin with for so long as he was allowed his hobbies. Hmm. Okay. Um, we're, well, I mean, are these the people that, that were, you know, with, right? So one that was paid off, one that believed in the cause. One he offered haven from those that were after her. So maybe that's Cynthia. Maybe? Like one believed in the cause? That sounds like Aerie, right? She believed in the cause. One he paid off. That sounds like Leo, you know? Even though he seems like the leader type is like, it's kind of shallow and a bit of a coward. So he just gets money, basically. The last one never had any morals. That sounds like maybe Sean? That doesn't sound like Sean though, but I don't know. Maybe maybe that's Leo. Not sure. I don't know. Anyway. <coughs> Excuse. The captain offered passage to two refugees. Mother and child. It was routine, except at that at the other end of the journey, his plan was to turn them over to their pursuers. I don't know. Anyway. Um, but yeah. Two refugees. So that was also mentioned in the uh, manifest. Yeah, two other people. But they were going to be returned in. Hmm. All of those four crewmen had something to gain and nothing to lose. So the Maris Fersenborg became the revolution in the name of those two refugees. Every murderer feels justified. They have to. For every time they see the reflections of the stars in the water, the eyes of the dead will stare back. So tell me. Was I justified? I took one life to save two. And now that I confess my sins to you, O oh, Confetio Deo, will thou deign to spare my soul? Uh, uh, ra uh, ra <laughs> radio monster. Run away from the radio monster. I don't know where to go. Uh, I guess just go somewhere. I have no idea. Just keep going. Uh, here. I don't know. Here? I'm not sure. Might be the wrong way. Uh, that's That door is locked. I don't know what's going here. Are you fine now? It feels like everything's normal now. Okay. I think I think we're fine now, though the storm is like kicking up. I feel like and everything is shaking still. But anyway, I guess let's go to sleep. <laughs> anyway, I guess I guess C, you know, confessed to her sins and then she died as well. Seems like. Um. There you go. Okay. I thought I did this already. I don't know. Anyway. So you're right. I had to go back to the other cabin. It might be because I was going to, in the, into the cabin, but then I went back and I thought I did that already. Maybe that's why. Well, let's go meet Leo. Uh, the, what a beautiful night sky. Don't get any closer, Leo. Then drop the knife, Ari. I'm no fool. You're a murderer. Mutiner. Merodale, take her, not me. I've done nothing. Maybe you were right all along. Merodale is here for us all. You and me and Sean and C. Everyone had a hand in it and so we'll all pay. No. Never. Oh, sailors, keep your secrets. <laughs> you idiot. Leo. Merodale will take you either way, and every deed will catch up with you in the end. The point of the song is that those that confess will have their souls redeemed. We're both going to die here, whether there's a storm or a sea monster. I, I don't know, but on my way out, I'll have a clean conscience. How about you? If the ocean ever finds a hole, if... You. Oh, the kid. Who exactly are you supposed to be? 
Shh, I suppose I already know. No. Merodale. Kid, you traitor. You betrayed us to... Snap. <laughs> Shank. Ugh. Sorry about the knife in the back, but I can't have you hurting the kid. And you're wrong anyway. Merodale was the sea, not the kid. Now I'm ready, Confessor. I'll pay the price and die with a smile on my face. Your task is complete, my servant. Return to the sea. Hey, oh, sailors, keep your secrets hid inside your treasure chest. Oh, sailors, keep your secrets hid inside the treasure chest. Yay! <laughs> uh, if the ocean ever finds a hull that's hidden in your chest, she'll return it to the sea. Well, I found a wayward so as they were drifting far away. As, yeah, as it was drifting away, Lord help me save their soul before they go too far astray and surrender to the sea. Oh, Confetier Deo, let me tell thee what I know. If thou deign to save me so, then I shall tell thee all I know. Ray, return it to the sea. While I went and crossed me brother, though he trust me with his life, Okay. There'll be plenty of time to think upon it in the afterlife when I come home to the sea. Okay. Well, that's the song, obviously. The, the old sea shanty about committing sins on the sea, I guess. Alright, I guess that's it. <laughs> a, little, a little song at the end. And we're back at the beginning, sort of, and it repeats. The kid, you know, I guess is on a, a raft again and with a body, and the body is Leo. And then it repeats. I guess that's what happened. Okay, so the, the idea is that the kid is, um, I'm not sure actually. I guess it's kept like kind of ambiguous, but like the kid himself... It's just kind of like the vessel of, of this supposed curse of like people who commit sins in the ocean. And like the idea is that you, the, you know, the people commit sins in the ocean, they pick him up and he's kind of like, he brings the curse with him is the idea. Maybe? I'm assuming that's what happens. So he was a bad omen after all, I guess. Um, I think it was, I, I thought it was going to be like a, kind of like a different twist. You know, I feel like that was kind of too obvious, maybe, but maybe, I don't know. I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to be. Um, oh yeah, uh, I, I was wondering, uh, what, 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 like, I know the, 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 the four crewmen here, they committed mutiny, right? And they stole the ship and everything, but what happened to the refugees? Like, apparently there's a woman and child and... They saved them, right? What happened to them? Were they not on the ship? I'm, 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 I'm assuming... Well, I, I'm either... I don't know, it's just never explained, but like, either it's like... They did save them, and then they've since like... Already been, um... Left that port, maybe, you know? They, maybe they've already... Uh, have, have like... Visited like a harbor already, and then the refugees... Uh, they let them escape, and then they've gone their way. You know, maybe they've been doing this for a bit now, and um, they've had this stolen ship for a while. So, like, maybe they've already done that. They've already done the deed, or otherwise, more morbidly, maybe they've already been killed. You know, in some way or another, either the crewmen accidentally killed them, or like they've been killed by the captain, like the old captain. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, there's a mention of another game. Well, the developer made a lot of games. I don't know if it's anything related to this game in particular, though. I'm not sure. Well, anyway. But there you go. I mean, that's the game, basically. The story, basically, is kind of like, you know, it's like a, it's, 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 it's like part, like, supernatural and part, like, uh, just, like, paranoid, you know, crew members, you know, who, who like, end up 
betraying each other, I guess, in a way. Um, so they don't, as far as I know, they don't kill each other necessarily, but they, they, you know, I think for the most part, they are consumed by the sea. I guess very ambiguous whether or not they've been consumed by like, like a supernatural entity or did they just, you know, jump off the ship themselves? It's hard to tell. I'm not sure. Like the ones who confess their sins, you know, end up just jumping into the sea. Like the idea is that they've, you know, they die, but they go to heaven, I'm assuming, or something like that. That's, you know, that's the myth anyway. But Leo is the only one who did it, and therefore, you know, that's why you see his dying body near, uh, near uh, the kid. Because, you know, he was never cleansed of his sins, and therefore he floats with him to bait, you know, basically bait another, like, uh, ship that has committed sins as well. Vertigo Temple? Uh, maybe, I don't know. No, I think that comment, I mean, as far as I know, uh, I think what you mean by that comment about Vertigo Temple is, like, not directly related to this game. I think he means, the comment I think you mean, um, it's like, expansion, you know, if that, if that makes sense, it's like, it's like they've made another game that's like, not based on it directly, it's just, uh, you know. In fact, I can see here, it's cyberpunk apparently, <laughs> you know, it's a different game basically, you know. It's just that they're referring to like, the fact the developer made another game and they've improved or whatever, right? That's the, I think that's what the comment means. Like, more characters into the mix means, like, they've added more characters. As in, like, it's more characters than their usual amount of characters that they have in the previous game. At least that's the interpretation I'm making. As far as I know, there's no, like, relation to anything else that they've made. Yeah, as far as I know. Anyway. Um. Um, but yeah, it was, I, I feel like I got uh, off tangent. Uh, so basically, yeah, the story is like, yeah, so it's... As it turns out, it's a bit more supernatural than I thought. Um, eh, it's okay, I guess. It's very ambiguous, really, but I think what it is, again, it's like there's a curse at the sea, and then, you know, everyone um, was... They played it kind of straight, but basically, yeah, all the characters... Turns out, you know, they committed a sin, and therefore, they've been consumed by, by the sea. Like, especially, Meredeo is actually land for a sea god, you know, a god of the sea. So, like, literally, it's quite... They play it quite straight, actually. So, um, I actually kind of wish there was a bit more of a maybe not a twist necessarily, but more more to it. You know, more depth to it. You know, some, one something else they could have done, but I don't know. Whatever. That's and uh, you know, just looking at the effects themselves and like kind of like the build up, you know, and everything. Uh, you know, I think it was pretty good. You know, overall, um, I feel like they it was kind of slow at the beginning though. I feel like there's not a lot of mystery at the beginning. It was kind of like just introducing the characters. And and the, and the game that's already pretty short, I felt like it ate up a lot of time. So I felt like it was a little bit shorter in terms of like just, hey everybody, just take a tour. You know, it's like very, I don't know, very kind of like um, slow, I guess. You know, it's like, hey, let me show you around the ship, you know. And then all of this doesn't really matter, you know, because we're all going to die at the end anyway. So it felt like, again, like that. The beginning was a little bit slow, but otherwise, other than that, I guess it's, you know, it, it, for its own little, like, short little horse, I guess, story, um, it worked pretty well. Um, the characters are interesting, uh, I like the visuals, the portraits, you know, I played, like, a beta version of this game before. I actually did not intend to play the full game, because I've noticed that the, the, the original version of this game had, like, a really big text box that covered the entire screen, you know, that by default, you know? Uh, which didn't work really well because it was, it was more like a visual novel, right? And it had more like dialogue instead of like descriptive text. Because I feel like if you can do a lot of like descriptive stuff or more like a traditional novel kind of style, or at least, you know, at certain sections, you would use like a full text box like that covers the entire screen. But it didn't work well, you know, at least in the beta version. Or I call it beta version, you know, just an older version, really. But they fixed that actually with a new version, which I like. So it's a, it's a lot more like a visual novel and... It works uh, way better because I can tell like who's talking and stuff like that. So I think it's much better. Uh, the scrolls, uh, the scroll, um, what do you call this? A scroll, uh, or scroll, side scrolling. I, I want to say scroll siding. No, 
the side scrolling aspect of this game um i would say it's okay i, I like the the uh what they were doing the lighting and the and the atmosphere and everything and the little you know slight effects like the shaking of the ship uh that was pretty interesting uh i do gotta say though it's pretty, it was pretty limited though not much you could you would do you just kind of walk around grab some keys and unlock the door there's some chase sequences as well which to be honest didn't make any sense because if the kid was a if the vessel of the curse then why would he why was he being chased it would actually make more sense if he was being chased by leo or something right that would make that would make much more sense if he was being chased by uh by the crew members for example you know or cynthia you know she got maybe got a little crazy and tries to kill the kid that that would actually make much much more sense and actually be more scary actually um because to be honest being chased around by the weird radio static you know didn't make sense for one and also um was not really that scary to be honest because it was just weird static thing you know it would it would actually be more scary if it was being chased by one of the actual uh crew members uh it would make sense too right and, and maybe places to hide you know you know like just general like survival horror mechanics it would make sense because as it is it just kind of feels like kind of limited and kind of not to be honest not super necessary right i don't know i feel like it's because they kind of split the two is kind of like kind of i don't know like if you're gonna choose to have a kind of a split of gameplay where there's side scrolling and there's like visual novel kind of style style cutscenes you kind of got to make them relevant you know kind of connect each other if not then why have it right why even bother having the side scrolling elements in the first place um if it's not going to be tied to the actual visual novel i feel like the, like the visual novel elements you know for example for individual novel elements you could have like choices right for example and i'm just like you know just randomly thinking of ideas but like for example in the visual novel section you could have choices and that would choose that will allow you to move to certain places for example when you're touring around with uh sean right he, you could choose which place to go first and then it would transition into the side scrolling section and then you would go up to certain places it would help like get an idea of how the ship is um mapped up as well that that would be pretty cool too so you can tell where the ship is so that when there's chase sequences you can know where to go right because as it is the actual visual novel section for again the tour it's hard to tell where you are exactly, you know, in, in relation to the actual physical ship. And then you're suddenly thrust into the side-scrolling section and you're not sure where everything is. It feels a little disconnected, right? So I feel like either have one or the other, or if you are going to have like two kinds of gameplay, you got to kind of connect them, you know? You got to like make sure you're connecting them. Otherwise, again, you know, it feels unnecessary, right? At least that's my opinion. Um, yeah. Uh... You like the radio stuff, uh, x -Pad? I don't know. I can, again, I, I feel like it just didn't feel relevant. Yet, you know, in hindsight, it just didn't feel relevant. Like, what was the weird radio monster? It was just like, spooky, mo you know, curse thing speaking through the radio. I don't know. It, it felt too, um, again, kind of too straightforward. But you know, I don't know. As it is, though, it's fine, I guess. It's just, uh, I, I was I was hoping there was a little bit more to it than that, you know? Um, yeah, anyway. Um, but I do like the, you know, I, I like where they're going for. I like the idea, the concepts. Um, you know, again, it's very much, you know, kind of like that kind of, you know, it's like, I mean, Among Us, I guess. I don't want to make that that reference again, but like, it's very much Among Us. Among Us, uh, werewolves, whatever, you know, those games where it's like, um, everyone is suspicious of each other, right? That Those kind of games. Uh, so it's an interesting story in that they didn't do much with that though again they again they because they played so straight it's like um it, it really was just a monster you know it was just like the weird god sea monster killing everybody so it's just that um but anyway but uh i i, it, I, I don't know I, it, it helps with the tense the, the tension though you know that everyone was paranoid of each other so i wish again they kind of did more of that uh, anyway but um yeah uh, i'm rambling for too long so again overall it was pretty good i would say yeah yeah i think the again the best decision they made uh compared to the old version that i played a little bit off screen actually was the little text box they did fix this, i think pretty much made the game way better <laughs> you know like double i don't know like double the quality only because you can see the actual portraits and everything um but yeah 
You know, the fact that, uh, I mean, just a small thing, not really a criticism necessarily, but the fact that the kid was kind of like silent, um, I don't know, I, I, I kind of wish they also made, did more of that too, actually, because you know how like a lot of RPG protagonists are silent in the first place? You know, like Legend of Zelda, Link, or whatever, well, it's not really RPG, but you know, a lot, a lot of like uh, video game heroes are just silent in the first place. So I, I kind of wish they maybe did something of like that too. You're like, for example, like the lampshading or, you know, make it like they construct the whole silent protagonist thing. Or like if you're silent the whole time, it's like not exactly like a good thing. I don't know. Or maybe some actions, maybe some agency as well during the actual vision novel sections. Again, like some choices maybe, right? So like even though the silent protagonist obviously can't talk, you can still do something, you know? You can like, I don't know, interact with stuff. I mean, that's kind of what you did in the side scrolling sections, but... I wish there was more choice to it, you know, because the actual side-scrolling sections uh, was linear as well when you think about it, you know, there's really not much uh, agency you could do there as well. I mean, other than the, maybe the cutscenes where you bump into the other characters. Well, maybe there's extra scenes I missed, I don't know, I feel like I've seen all the scenes, though. I can score as much as I can. But anyway, um, but yeah, 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 yeah. So, again, uh, pretty good, I would say. But there you go. Uh, that's it for Maradeo. Uh, I guess if you are on YouTube, you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch, so check me out over there if you're interested. I also have other playthroughs on the channel, so you can look for those if you want. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.